Why you look so sad? I'm at Home Depot right now, guys, about to pop in, grab some wood, grab a, a, a drop saw, table saw thing so I can cut some wood straight. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to build this grind ledge box today. So this is the uh, two by four I need right here, but I need, I need a Home Depot bloke to come and cut this down and grab me some more out. So anybody that knows me personally knows I suck at math and the cut list is like, you need X amount of two by fours and they need to be this length. So it's like trying to add up the lengths to see how many two by fours I need to buy. I'm probably gonna buy more than less because I really don't wanna end up getting halfway through the build and I have like no two by four left. So I'm probably gonna get more. This kind of looks like Element logo. All right, so we got the two by fours down. We just gotta go get some plywood right now for the, uh, for the box. <laughs> So this is the bulk of what we need right now. I just got to get a, a like a drop saw, like a proper saw, because I don't think I'm going to be able to cut it correctly with a circular saw. So that's where we're off to right now. So I've got to, I've got to get one of these bad boys, but I don't know if it comes with the, the blade or not. Oh no, it comes with a blade. Look, general purpose, 10 inch. There you go. As you guys can see- In 1,000 feet, like use the right- as you guys can see, I got all the wood loaded up. I was at Home Depot for longer than I wanted to. You get stuck in there, it's like a maze. And then, yeah, I'm just hoping once this ledge is built, if it'll fit in my car. Because I found a really nice car park that's like in the shade, this smooth ground, no one's there. So I want to go skate it there, but I'm just hoping it fits in my car. Basically, I have everything I need to throw this box together. I have all the tools that I need, especially the saw. It's going to make a massive difference, making sure my cuts are like, completely correct and then i have my drill and my drill bits and stuff so i'm just going to get into it it's pretty simple i think i've just got to cut up one of the two by fours into a foot and nine inches so to frame the bottom we've got to use the two eight foot lengths on the sides and then for the front and back in the middle we've got to cut up a two by four into one foot and nine inch lengths to fit in the middle there so that's what i'm gonna do right now So I got the bottom, front, middle and back. I just gotta get a couple of the eight foot lengths and then frame the bottom, screw it in and then get started on the top. sense it's gonna go to the way it just went yeah you put a but hole you there. have to find where the, the thing is and then just keep going straight you've got this So I've got the bottom framed up here right now. I'm about to do the top. I'm not gonna film it because you've pretty much seen what I did with the bottom. Only difference is there's gonna be more rows of support on the inside of the top here because that's where you're gonna be grinding and landing on and stuff. So yeah. So we've got the bottom part of the frame done. We've got the top part of the frame done. We just gotta do the legs in between. So I've got to cut up that last bit of two by four there, make the legs up and then uh, bolt it all together.
triple legs on and then put the framing on top. So wish me luck. We're only gonna put one screw in for this side. What about the other side? Just here. That's it. So I got the frame all done, that was a nightmare. Now we just got to screw down the top piece of ply and the ply on the side. And I might do the angle iron in the morning, I think, because we're out of daylight right now, guys. But yeah, this is a pain in the ass, not gonna lie. Everybody's not gonna know I'm an oil hole porter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why are you, huh? Uh -huh. What's that with <laughs> me? Second day on this job, pretty much the first day you seen, I got the frame together, screwed down the top piece of ply. Second day, I'm going to get the ply that runs along the side, all screwed in, get the coping, the angle iron screwed on and then I'm going to paint it so that's what needs to happen right now all right that's the box assembled screwed down whatever Screws that go into the angle iron that go into the wood need to be countersunk So you need to use a bigger drill bit just to countersink them in. I've probably demolished about 75% of this drill bit kit by DeWalt like these are all snapped or the ends are like Round I just yeah, this this trade isn't for me shouts out to all the chippies out there I cannot do this my my hands hurt my pretty little hands hurt Only thing left to do right now is just to get this thing painted I bought some uh, some cheap primer, interior exterior latex primer should work pretty well on top of the plywood. Gives it a type of finish. Probably make it a bit more slippery too. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to paint this thing up right now. If I haven't said right now as many times as I needed to in this sentence. <laughs> box doesn't fit in the car so I'm just gonna have to skate in the driveway but it's a little bit sticky so I've got to hit it with the I'm gonna wax it then I'm gonna boxy it to try to open up those pores so I can get the wax in there so yeah <laughs>
っちゃ素敵。I added on these little rigid caster wheels so you can like tip the, the ledge up and then roll it around. It makes it way easier to move. So yeah, they're not bad. I've seen people use like skateboard trucks on wheels, but I didn't really want to use a spare set of trucks. So I slapped these bad boys on, does the job. Not too bad apart from it being sticky at first, but just had to wax the guts out of it and then burn it a bit. I don't know if the burning worked, but I mean, I don't know if the burning was that effective, but it worked pretty well. So I'm quite happy with this, uh, with this build. So there's an actual website called DIYSkate.com. I'm going to leave the link to the website in the description below. They've got a ton of free plans from like ledgers, kicker ramps, wedge ramps, even half pipes. So make sure you go and check it out. So I pretty much built this ledge to the spec of the plans that I got off the DIYSkate.com website, but you can make it shorter. In hindsight, I should have made it like six foot so then I could fit it in my car. So pretty much this is just gonna sit in the driveway and it's gonna be a uh, driveway obstacle, which is all right, but I feel like I can't use it to its full capability, if that makes sense. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Got some pretty cool news coming up. A local skateboarder here sent me a DM to a DIY spot that's not too far from here and it looks very promising so I want to go check that out later this week. So fingers crossed that it is a good spot and I can build out there and uh, yeah keen to get back into skating since my ankle feels a bit better now. But yeah if you enjoyed this video leave a thumbs up if it's your first time on my channel here go and check out the rest of my DIY videos and my other videos in general. Shouts out to everyone subscribed right now. And uh, yeah, make sure you follow Evening Mob on Instagram. We're going to have a drop later this week. You don't want to miss out. We've got some sick tote bags and some sick t-shirts ready to drop, guys. So yeah, follow me on Instagram at Enochism. And thanks for watching the video. And I will catch all of you guys in the next one. Cheers for watching. Like you